So the next uh, speaker is uh, Gauthier Possiné. We will talk about uh, universal norms of uh, periodic Galois representations and the fact Fontaine curve. All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to the organizer to keep this nice conference uh, despite the weird situation. It's always a pleasure, especially because I did my thesis at uh, Université Laval. Um, yes, so the, this talk is about universal norms of PID girl representation and the far content curves. And more precisely, it's on the question uh, asked by uh, John Coates and uh, Ralph Greenberg in the 96. Uh, so let me fix some uh, notation for the rest of the talk. So we fix a prime number P, everything is going to be local. So we consider the field of a periodic number and we fix an algebraic closure of uh, QP. And we consider inside a finite extension K and uh, an intermediate extension L, which can be uh, anything. Um, I will also denote by GK the Galois group of K and by GL the Galois group of L. And so uh, before start starting to talk about uh, PID Galois representation, I would like simply to talk about Abelian varieties. So now let A be an Abelian variety defined of our finite extension of QP. Then we can consider the short exact sequence of multiplication by Pn for any n. And if we take the Galois invariant uh, of this exact sequence and we take the limit of uh, this uh, n, we get uh, what's called a Kummer map, which changes the L rational point of the Abelian variety tensor by Qp over Zp inside the first Galois cohomology group of Gl acting on this uh, p power torsion point. And uh, now a question that uh, arises, uh, can we have a nice description of this image of this Kummer map? So how this rational point sits inside this uh, Galois cohomology group? And the motiv motivation for that, so th that's the question we will consider in this talk, but uh, maybe I should explain a bit why we are interested into this very precise question. So, uh, so the, this image of this uh, Kummer map appears in the definition of uh, the p summer groups when the Abelian variety comes, uh, these Abelian varieties come from an Abelian variety defined over a number field. So I will not uh, recall the definition, but if your Abelian variety comes from, is uh, defined over a number field, locally at p you can consider this Kummer map and uh, you can construct uh, the Serma group. And the Serma group is a uh, Oops, sorry. Ah, sorry. The Selma group, so the, now we want to study the Selma group. Uh, we need a nice description of this image of the Kummer map. And so, for example, when L is a K or is a finite ext extension of K, the study of the Selma group is related to a BSD conjecture and more generally, and I will talk about that later, about the bloch cato conjecture. And as I put the title of uh, this slide, uh, when L is an infinite extension of a K, this description is also useful for Iwasawa theory. And again, for the same reasons, because this uh, image of Kummer map locally at P uh, appears in the definition of the Selmer group, this time over an infinite extension. And to say something about the Selmer group, we need uh, a nice description of this uh, map again. And so, in the particular case where the completion for the periodic topology, uh, which I denote by L hat, is a perfectoid field, uh, a very nice answer to this question was given by uh, Coates and uh, Greenberg in 96. And I would like to recall what this result is about. And so, of course, I need to talk maybe a bit about perfectoid field. So perfectoid fields were introduced by Peter Scholze in uh, 2012. And so a perfectoid field is a complete non archimedean field of residue characteristic P uh, whose valuation group is non-discrete and such that the P power of Frobenius map on the ring of integer modulo P is surjective. So it's a bit technical uh, definition really. 
But let me give some example. Uh, in situation where the completion of L is a perfect weight field. So for example, uh, the completion of uh, QP bar, so the, which is called uh, CP, is a, a very naive example of a perfect weight field. Everything is uh, works there. But more interesting for us, for it was our theory, for example, the cyclotomic extension, its completion is a perfect weight field. Or generally, if you take an extension whose Galois group is a periodically group and in which the inertia is open, then the theorem of Sen from 72 tells you that actually the completion of uh, L is a perfect weight field. And finally, a last example to have a non Galois example. If you take the, your field K, you have all the periods of P and you complete, and it's again a perfect weight field. And so for the motivation coming from Iwazawa theory, it's very interesting because the field two, uh, three, and four uh, here in the examples are typical extension that uh, you encounter in Iwazawa theory. So perfect weight fields are really relevant for Iwazawa theory. And so now the Result of Coates and Greenberg is the following, coming back to the question about this uh, Kummer map. So take an abelian variety defined over this finite extension of QP uh, K. So what they prove is that there exists a sub Galois module of the P power torsion point, which uh, will denote A P infinity zero, such that if L is perfectoid, uh, then this image of the Kummer map actually coincides with the image of the natural map that you get in cohomology, uh, simply induced by the inclusion of NP infinity zero inside AP infinity. So the map on the right is very simple. And so you see that this theorem is uh, really nice because it gives you a description of how L rational point of the Abin variety sits inside the Gawa cohomology group in terms of a simple map in cohomology. And this theorem was uh, actually useful for Iwazawa theory. So uh, Coates and Greenberg gave uh, two applications of this later. So Greenberg in 2003, he gave uh, a vast generalization of uh, Mazur control theorem. So for Abin variety into very general extension. That's why it's also interesting for non-commutative Iwazawa theory. I pass uh, on this. And Coates and uh, Susan Hawson, they compute the euler poincare characteristic of Samer group uh, of ordinary elliptic curves thanks to this uh, result. And so for Abin variety, uh, we have this very nice result, which is really useful. And the picture is quite complete uh, overall. But so now earlier I mentioned uh, the bloor cato conjecture, and that's what I would like to explain a bit uh, now. So the, now we really look at, uh, we finally start to talk about periodic uh, representation. So take V, a periodic representation of the absolute Gara group. So to recall it's a, uh, finite dimensional QP vector space, which is equipped with a linear and continuous action of a GK. And inside take a lattice T, a ZP lattice, which is stable under this action. So now the quotient V of a T is a Galois module. And uh, Bloch and Cato have defined in uh, 90, uh, several groups, so I will just for simplicity consider one of them, the exponential bloch cato subgroup, which is uh, this H1E, uh, and which is a subgroup of the first Galois cohomology group of GL acting on V over T. And this subgroup uh, appears in their conjecture on the special value of uh, L functions for motives. But I will not give the definition on, because uh, for, for the 20 minutes, but let me just say that uh, this group uh, are uh, arithmetically relevant just with the example of Abin variety. So if you start, if you take T to be the Tate module of, the Abin, of an Abin variety, 
defined over k. So that is the inverse limit of the pn torsion point of the abelian variety. Uh, then this uh, exponential block at a subgroup, which is defined through pi Dikos theory, basically, actually coincide with the image of this Kummer map that we saw earlier. Okay. And so now we have two things. We uh, we have like this nice result of Coates and Greenberg for Abelian variety, exactly about this image of the Kummer map. But we also have this generalization by Bloch and Cato of uh, this image of Kummer map. So namely this exponential Bloch as a subgroup. So there is a natural question, uh, which is, uh, can we obtain a similar description of this Bloch as a subgroup as in the theorem of Coates and Greenberg? And this, this question was actually the precisely, uh, um, sorry, precisely asked uh, in the same paper uh, for Coates and Greenberg of uh, 96. And so uh, what is known about this question actually is uh, for the specific case of the cyclotomic extension, uh, the answer to this question is yes, we have an analogous uh, description by, uh, so that was proved by Berger and wor uh, working uh, on previous work on developing previous work of uh, perrin -Rio. So here the, the condition that V is the RAM, uh, if you are not familiar with uh, the world of periodic representation, uh, it's a, a class of periodic representation, but that's all we are interested in because uh, periodic representation that come from geometry are the RAM. So for block at a conjecture and all of these kind of things, uh, that's uh, exactly what we want. And so, so everything we know about this question is I basically recall uh, that already. So that's this result of Berger and Perrin-Rieu for the cyclotomic extension and uh, the RAM uh, periodic representation and the theorem of Coates and Greenberg for Abelian variety. And so the result I would like to uh, explain is uh, the following. So now if you assume that the representation is the RAM, again, that's all what we want, but with a strong condition, which is that the Hodge state weight are less than or equal to one. Uh, then again, we have the, the same uh, result as Scott and Greenberg. So there exists a sub Galois module, uh, which I denote V0 at T0, such that if L is perfectoid, uh, this block as a subgroup, again, is the image of the natural map you get in cohomology, Galois cohomology, uh, via the inclusion of V0 T0 inside V over T. Okay? And so, uh, few words about that. So for people that know about the periodic representation, so really this V0 is defined as a as such, like, so it's the minimal sub Galois representation of V such that the Hodge state weight of the quotient are all less or equal uh, yeah, less or equal than zero. And again, to insist on that, if you, again, if you take T to be the tight module of an abelian variety, then this theorem one uh, gives you back uh, Coates and uh, Greenberg uh, results. But so this theorem one still treats new case of this question of uh, Coates and Greenberg. And in particular, it's uh, for periodic representation, it's finally go beyond the cyclotomic case. Um, and now uh, I would like to say a few words uh, about the proof for the main object, so the, the proof really relies, so because this uh, block at a subgroup are defined via P. D. Koch theory, we cannot at all use the strategy of Coates and Greenberg, which is more explicit. So this proof rely on mainly two ingredients, which, is, uh, which are Fontaine theory of uh, what he called almost CP representation, which was published in 2003, and uh, the classification of vector bundles over the Fark Fontaine curve, uh, which is a fundamental result of P. Dikosch theory, uh, which announced for a long time, but the, the final version has been published in 2018 in STS. Uh, how am I doing on time? How, how much time do I have left? Sorry. I don't know. 
five minutes. Ah, okay. So, okay. So that's good. So I'm never sure with Beamer how much time I will use. So I was prepared to stop there if needed, but I have a, <laughs> a bonus if I have some more time. Um, so, okay. So I would like to give in the case of Airbnb variety, which was already treated by Coates and Greenberg, an idea of this proof using the Farfontaine curve really in the, ma the, the main point without entering into too much detail or defining anything, just to give an idea of how this uh, articulates somehow. So you start with an Airbnb variety defined over K. And actually, Kotz and Greenberg show that it's enough to prove the case of semi-stable reduction. And so now you consider the commutative formal group associated to a neural model of A. And the nice thing is that this uh, V0 that I appear uh, in CRM1 and that appear also in the uh, Coates and Greenberg uh, results now is actually as an incarnation as simply the tight module of this uh, commutative formal group. So this AP infinity zero that I appear in uh, Coates and Greenberg is really the people attention point of this commutative formal group. So now it's very useful for, because we can uh, look at uh, this commutative diagram. So each line is the Kummer map for both the Abin variety and the commutative formal group. And the vertical line are simply uh, induced by the inclusion of the commutative formal group inside the Abin variety. But now, because we have this description of this uh, AP infinity zero as this uh, torsion point of the commutative formal group, uh, the, the map, that natural map that we are looking at in the theorem appear as the middle vertical map now in this diagram. And we have also the Kummer map at this, like, which is denoted on the diagram here. So to prove the theorem, really what we want and what Scott and Rivera prove is that uh, when L is perfectoid, then this Galois cohomology group that, has, that appears in the top right corner in this diagram is actually trivial. It, because if you put zero, then uh, Indeed, the, the image of the Kummer map coincide with the image of this vertical map in the middle. And so now Coates and Greenberg uh, prove this by uh, explicit computation, let's say. I would like to just give the idea in uh, how this goes in the case of uh, the Farquhar-Fontaine curve and all these Piedicoche theoretic things, which is actually the idea that uh, gave you the result for Piedicoche representation with a bit more stuff going wrong, but uh, mainly that's this. So now we want to prove this. So the first point is that instead of looking at this uh, commutative form a group, we look at the inverse limit by the multiplication by P. Uh, so it's a Galois module, the topological Galois module, and precisely it's uh, what exactly what uh, Fontaine called an almost CP representation. Again, I will not recall any definition here, just to give ideas. But a, a point in this whole theory is that now there exists a vector bundle over the Farc Fontaine curve whose global section is exactly this module, no matter what the Farc Fontaine curve is. Okay? And because uh, the Farc Fontaine curve now is a, a curve, uh, complete, there is the, no, the notion of harder Narasimhan filtration and slopes, as in the classical case. And uh, what you can show is this vector bundle, actually, all the other Nashman slope of this vector bundle are strictly greater than zero. But now we have a very strong result of Farg and Fontaine, which tells you that this condition on the other Nashman slopes implies that if L is perfectoid, then the Galois cohomology acting on this global section is actually trivial. And by the point two, this global section are exactly the inverse limit by P of your commutative form group. And so this last, uh, this uh, very powerful point four, combined with a small thing, which is that the P cohomological dimension of a perfectoid field is always uh, less than or equal to one, actually allow you to say that actually from start, like the Galois cohomology of this commutative form group is trivial. So here it was, very in short to give ideas uh, that we replace all the precise computation of Coates and Greenberg by a completely Piedicoche theory argument 
And the periodical theory is really hidden in this point four, which is the very powerful, uh, rely on the very powerful uh, classification of vector bundle over the curve, no matter what the curve is really. And uh, I think this time I really stop and it's not a, a false uh, stop. Thank you very much. <laughs>